guys welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna start off with yes i know i look like crap i've been in bed all day feeling exactly how i look so i've decided that I'm, you know my hair looks it's the new fashion trend i'm coming up with it's called disgusting hair um i'm deciding i'm gonna go ahead and make a video about gizmo gizzy hey baby girl come here pretty girl that's our baby. My little baby is having babies. <laughs> Look at that honey. She's got she's gonna have babies. I'm so excited. Yes, you're gonna have babies, aren't you, honey? Yeah. They are gonna be due um any day now, pretty much. Um and I've already got somebody who wants one of her puppies as a service dog. Um, that's another thing I want to talk about. Therapy dogs, service dogs, emotional support dogs. Therapy dogs, emotional support dogs, and service dogs are completely different things. Therapy dogs are more for, um, I don't know, emotional stuff. But emotional support dogs are strictly for emotional things. Um, therapy dogs, they're, like, there to help with seizures and stuff. I mean, yeah, service dogs do that, too. Service dogs are, like, a combination of all of them. Because service dogs are supposed to be able to help you by, you know, doing tasks for you. Like, my dad with Sam. Sam is there to help support my dad since my dad has mobility problems. And he's also there to help, um be able to tell when they're when my dad's gonna have a seizure he's also there to protect my protect my dad make him feel more safe in public areas so yeah anyway somebody already wants one of her puppies to be a service dog um she's gonna have that puppy help her with um like sensing things and to get stuff for her now, I'm really hoping that it works out. Um, she's going to be able to come see the puppies after their eyes are open. Because that way they're not like infants. And we want to see which one she bonds with. If she bonds with any of them. So, I'm really excited. Because I got one person who definitely wants one. And, yeah. I'm excited. They're going to be so cute and tiny and adorable. And, oh. I don't want to get rid of any of them. So I, my throat is like being stupid. So um, the puppies are also going to be $400 each, which is actually really cheap because I could actually be selling them for like close to $800. So I'm just starting off pretty low because I am just starting this. So hi, baby girl. Hi, baby cakes. So, I'm just saying, you know, if you know anybody who needs a therapy dog, emotional support dog, service dog, or just wants a dog in general, a small one, like a small, they're going to be small. Yes, Gizzy, are they going to be small? Yes, they are. So, if you know anyone who wants, you know, a dog for any certain reason, point them towards my um, page it's called Little Helping Paws. It's on Facebook. And it's got a picture of Gizmo and Teddy. It's pretty hard to miss. And um, they can... You... If you're interested, you can message me. Now, I do not live um, anywhere near Maine or anything. So, if you guys are coming from Maine, I can't help you. Sorry. Try close, to, like, probably near the Washington State area would be ideal. Because I live in Washington. So, if you're coming from Maine, I'm on the complete opposite side of the United States. <laughs> so, that you can imagine how pricey that would be. And, um not fun that would be so so i'm just letting you know 
So, if um, you're interested or anyone else, message me on there. And, um, you know, then if you're actually serious about it, um, we can talk about, you know, meeting and stuff. And, because I want to be able to meet the people that want a dog. Because I'm not just going to be giving my puppies away to some random people that I don't know, like, how they're going to treat the dog. Or if they're serious about owning a dog. Because you have to think about it. Will I be able to properly train this dog? Um, these are the questions you think of. Will I be able to properly train this dog? Will I be able to provide for this dog? Will I be able to give it the care that it needs? Will I be a good owner? Am I going to abuse it? Am I going to make sure that it has the best life possible? If it's a no to any of those, you're not getting a dog. Sorry, you just shouldn't. Honestly, I think that people who can't take care of a dog or, you know, are not even able to take care of themselves, they shouldn't have a dog. I'm not trying to sound mean or anything, but it's for the better of the animal if they can be properly taken care of. So, and I want to try to find a way to make a contract that people have to sign that if at all you need to get rid of this dog like if you're moving to a place that doesn't allow animals I want them to give the dog back to me that way I can give it to another person instead of having my puppies go everywhere and me not knowing what the heck's going on so I want to try to do that but I know that really won't do much but I can try so and I'll also get to start um building my kennel name I guess I get to build my reputation because I'm going to be doing confirmation shows with a friend's dog um it's a an Australian shepherd and it's a purebred so I'll be doing AKC shows which means that if people if I do a good job people could be wanting me to show their dogs which would be really good because I'd be known as a really good show show person and I would get paid and that would help with a lot of stuff so I'm pretty excited because I can't do that with Gizmo or Teddy because they are mixed breeds and AKC does not condone mixed breeds at all. So that's why I have to do the UKC, but there is no confirmation in UKC. UKC is United Kennel Club, which means mixed breeds, purebreds, doesn't really matter as long as they're a dog. <laughs> and then AKC is American Kennel Club, which is specifically for purebreds. Like... Gizmos, a Shih Tzu Yorkie. They'd be like, uh, get your butt out of here. So, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. I am so tired. But honestly, I've been in bed all day. That's kind of sad. <sighs> Gizzy, are you excited at babies? Yeah, she's getting really tubby. She's like, she went poof. It's like she swallowed a cantaloupe. <laughs> She's so big. I'm really excited for the puppies. And I'm going to be making a video. Uh, not of her having babies. But I'm going to record her going into like her little area to have her babies. And then I'm going to record areas of after the babies are born. And yeah, because I'm pretty sure that a lot of people do not want to see the um, the beauty of um, birth from a dog. Although I'm going to be seeing all of it. Can't be as bad as a cat giving birth. That was scary. <laughs> when I first saw a cat giving birth, I was like... Six. <laughs> it was the scariest thing I ever saw. It was awful. You do not want to see it. <laughs> so yeah. Ugh. Uh. Ugh. Uh. Ugh. So yeah. But I'm gonna be doing this another time. Gizzy will be pregnant two times this year. 
next year, hopefully, hopefully she'll have three litters. Um, it's actually healthy, healthier for the female who is intact, you know, isn't fixed, to have babies year round because, um, when females are intact and they aren't being bred, they're more likely to get, you know, cervical cancer or any of those bad things. So it's healthier if they keep babies in them. So that's what I'm going to do. Plus, I need her for my business. So from this litter, if she has three, I will get about... I will get $1,200. If she is four, it'll be $1,600. So, we're hoping for four. But we are also really, really, really praying that she doesn't lose any. Because it is more common for first-time mommies to lose one of their babies in their first litter. So, it makes me upset. I really hope that she doesn't lose any. Because that's going to be really sad. Because there are already small litters in general. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this video. And remember, little helping paws on Facebook. And message me. Let people know. You know, get it out there that I'm going to be having a litter of puppies soon. And I need people. So I will go ahead and I will see you guys in my next video. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below if you are interested in a dog or if you've got any other things to say. I'm also going to try to put a link down in the thingy. Um, you know what I'm talking about. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching and joining me in my crappy looking self. Bye, guys.